Hey guys, what's up? It's me here, November, and welcome back to Island of PSA. If you don't not know, I'm November. I'm a psychiatric survivor's advocate, and I have multiple mental illnesses such as schizoaffective bipolar, BPD, PTSD, anxiety, and most likely autism. And today I'm doing a video about how I got kicked out of middle and high school and how the college counselor center kicked me out too. So this is a mild trigger warning for um, suicide talk. So if you're not in a good place to watch this, I totally understand. <gasps> it's not going to be great mention of it, but it will be mentioned. So I got bullied a lot and I went to a bunch of different schools because my parents moved around a lot because I had half custody between my mom and my dad and I got bullied a lot. So I moved to a couple of schools. Elementary school, obviously I didn't get kicked out of that. But when I went to middle school in eighth grade, I started harming myself, and then I harmed myself in the bathroom at school. Not getting into how, but I harmed myself in the bathroom at school. And then the counselor and had already been talking to me because I told her I cut myself at home, and she made me go to Summit Ridge, which is a local hospital here in Atlanta, and do an evaluation, which I did, and I got admitted to PHP. Then I got admitted to inpatient, and then once I got out, I harmed myself in the bathroom, and they said, we can't have that here. So they... um requested two things. Um, one thing is called homebound, which is basically where a tutor comes out to you. If you're really sick, a tutor comes out to you and teaches you. But the other option was an online school through our county, which I'm not going to say what county or what the online school was called. But so I opted to do the online school and that was pretty cool. Like, um, you know, I got to, um, continue my education and if I didn't feel well that day I didn't have to do it that day I mean there were deadlines but it was usually like week a week deadline instead of a day deadline so that was pretty cool then I ended up in the hospital again so anyways I'm online school for a couple of years and then I'm in and out of lower heights and all that stuff and then my dad passes away and then I moved back in with my mom and I was 15 at this time and she wanted me I, could, I was failing my math class, so she wanted me to go to a brick-and-mortar school. So we went to a high school in the area. Um, I got permissive transfer. I'm not going to get into why, but I just did because I don't want to give out too much information because I'm kind of paranoid. So I got permissive transfer to this school, and um, let's call this school A. So at school A, I was fine, and then... I had all those ECT treatments, and I had to catch up, so I went to an alternative high school, but not in the sense that you've been bad, just a sense to catch up. So at the alternative high school, it's called School B, I walk into the counselor's office one day, and I'm like, hey, I'm suicidal, and she's like, no, I said, I, back up, I got out of the hospital for the third time in like a month, so I walk into the counselor's office. She says, are you suicidal? And I say, yes, but I didn't want to go to the hospital. So they said, you cannot continue here anymore. So I had to get my GED, which was pretty embarrassing because I always, I mean, I was a pretty smart student, even though I almost, I flunked a math class. So I was doing really good in school and I've always been pretty intelligent. So I went to get my GED. Okay. So then at college, right, I go into, I, I get through all that other stuff and I go to college and I major in physics which I do not want to go back at this time and major in physics, but it's what I chose back then. And it was a local college here in Atlanta, not going to say which one, but um, I went to the counseling department at this local college, and I talked to a psychologist there, and I told him all my problems. At this time, I'd been living on my own, and I had my own apartment, and I had friends, and I was in decent until I completely skipped all my classes. I would lay in bed for days depressed, and wouldn't even get out of bed except to eat and use the restroom. And I'd cut myself and I was hallucinating like crazy. Wasn't on any meds. I was on meds before, but I got off of them because I didn't like my old doctor. But um, I went to the counseling department. I told this guy, I was like, look, he's like, we can't treat you here because you have psychosis and trauma. Which I know psychosis isn't as common as anxiety and depression and trauma isn't as common. But they should still have the resources to treat it. So anyways, he thought I was too severe to talk there, so he recommended that I go to a therapy clinic, which is the one I go to now, and it's been great. Um, it's really helped me out. I actually didn't start going to a therapy clinic until a couple of years later because of my insurance, but that is the story how I got kicked out of high school, 
middle school and got kicked out of the college counseling program. Definitely not proud of this. I'm just posting this to raise awareness that we need better mental health care in our school and better mental health care, period. Um, I, I think I deserved to get kicked out of middle school because I did harm myself in the bathroom. But out of high school, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. In high school, they were like, oh, we're going to call 911. So they actually did call 911, and the EMTs came out, and they said, do you want to go to the hospital? I was like, no. I just got out. I'm suicidal, but I don't want to go. And obviously, I didn't take my life. But anyways, I post this to show you guys that you can move on with your life. I mean, not move on, but, like, you can overcome obstacles, and that's what I'm doing. And I've been out of the hospital for a year now, which is ever since I started going to the hospital. This hasn't, this is the longest time I've been out. So I just want to post this video to show you guys that you can keep going. Alright, thanks guys. If you like what I'm doing, check out my link tree in the bio. Bye.